Hey, welcome to worshiptutorials.com. Today is an exciting day because Helix Firmware 2.8 is out. Yes. In the wild. If in you haven't, the realness. Yes, if you have not downloaded and put it on your Helix yet, uh, you need to pause this video so you can come back. Go do that and then come back and watch the rest of this video. One of the most anticipated uh, models that they added to Helix 2.8, at least for me, is, and I think for a lot of people, <laughs> is the analog man king of tone king of tone and prince of tone bradford is the resident expert uh on the analog man king of tone so it's based on a uh blues, blues breaker, breaker which yeah. a lot of pedals are yeah there's, there's a handful of those the the analog man king of tone though is probably one of the most revered yes versions of it you get on a wait list and it's about a year and a half to two and a yeah, half it's years pretty, it's pretty nuts depending on <laughs> where he's at so that's why you'll see guys charge upwards of 400 500 dollars yeah from. because and you can't get it you can't get it like right now if you want one right now they the only option is to buy used prince of tone from what i understand is like they wanted to make make an option for a king of tone sound that wasn't as meticulously made right um and so they're like a pcb and so, right. it's, so it's the king of tone is all hand wired hand wired and all prince of tone is a little more mass produced okay. and so you were telling me that basically you can you can think of a prince of tone as one side as of the king of tone basically right. it is your favorite overdrive pedal it is uh and you've been using it for a long time we've got uh brad's king of tone which you have the high gain mod yes on the right side. On the right side, the red side. And uh, the Helix will do that. It It'll has that You can select option. that, yes. And we've set up three sounds. Left side, right side, and both sides. Now what are they called in the Helix? The King of Tone is called the... Tone Sovereign. The Tone Sovereign. And the Prince of Tone is called the... Air Apparent. Air Apparent. In our testing with this, if you pull up the Tone Sovereign, the King of Tone model, it is both sides turned on. Yes. Like you can't just turn one side on or off. It's yeah. both on. There's two pages. There's like, you know, gain, volume, tone, presence, level one, and then gain, volume, tone, presence, level two, and then you've got and the, clipping. the clipping options. Which is boost, overdrive, or distortion. And then there's and the a, gain mod. The gain mod. It could be normal or high, normal higher. Mod. Yeah. And you can also switch 9 or 18 volts. Yes, which you can do with the real pedal. Yes. We're running the we're King running of Tone nine. here at 9 because that's how I always use it. And we're running... We feel that the Prince of Tone, the Air Apparent, yes, in, the li in, the, in the Line 6, in the Helix, was yes. not meant to simulate the PCB version like, the PC, like uh, Prince of Tone. We found yeah. that like it sounds, it's meant to just give you one side. It sounds just like it. It sounds, and it sounds, and you'll hear, it sounds yeah. just like it. A lot of people, and like myself included, yeah. really like using one side of the King of Tone for really, really clean, and the and like a boost, a push kind of thing. It's really nice. And the other side for like a little more gain, dirt, and then yeah. they like to stack both sides for both. So what's cool is if you use the Tone Sovereign, it's like it only uses one block. So yeah. if you're a guy who only wants to use but like again, that sound, both sides of but it's both sides. So yeah. if you only, if that's like the only way you're going to use it, I would say use the Tone Sovereign. If you're going to use one, do like what I do is use yellow or red and then yellow and red, then do two Prince two of Tone, Air two Air Apparents yes. and stack them or use them however you want. And in our patch, in this test, we've set up both options. So what yes. we have is right here, you can see where my foot is. That says KOT yellow. Mm -hmm. That is the air apparent uh, or Prince of Tone model in the Helix. And we've set it up to, to mimic the left or yellow side of Brad's King of Tone. Yes, which is pretty much how I like to use it. Yes. And then the KOT red, uh, which is where my foot is here, we have, that is the air apparent model. Again, another instance of it, another block, set up to mimic the red side of Brad's King of Tone, which is the high gain modded version. Mm -hmm. And then we have the one that says KOT both. That is the Tone Sovereign model in the Helix uh, with both sides on, set up to mimic both sides on, on Brad's King of Tone. And then the King of Tone is in the effects loop. And so we can just turn the Analog Man King of Tone on or off with this button right here. So this is what we're gonna do. Brad is gonna play. You're not gonna look at what my feet are doing. Got you have to keep okay. your eyes away. Okay. And you're gonna, and I'm gonna switch back and forth a bit. 
and uh, we'll put on the screen what's what. And you're going to try and tell me if you think it's the real pedal or the helix. Uh. All right, you ready? Okay. So here's some clean tone. something. Let me try it one more time. Okay. I'll switch. Okay, what is this? Guess. <laughs> one more time. What is this? Oh, man. I couldn't tell you if I so, didn't know. There's something about both ones I'm both options I'm hearing that makes me say, oh, that's the real one. And I'm like, oh no, 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 that's the real one. I don't know. Are we on the real one? No. <laughs> You're on the helix. Oh version. my word. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm like okay. embarrassed, but so very happy at the same time. <laughs> okay, so uh I hope that you heard what we hear in the room. It's really hard to tell the difference. Yeah. I heard a little, I heard like something, and you can really only tell if you switch them in the middle of a phrase. Yeah. Like a little yes. bit more low end comes yes. in on one versus the other. We used our ears. Yeah. Like we didn't look at the knobs. We we looked at the knobs first. To get roughly there. And then like kind of set them at the same. And then we used our ears to fine tune it because the helix gives you a presence knob and there presents. is there is no present knob present on, on the uh Mary <laughs> little flight of the concords right there yeah. uh there is no presence knob on the king of tone let's go to the red side and we're gonna a b so we'll start again with clean tone so this is obviously more overdrive that's typically how people do yeah. it um anyways but there's no right or wrong this yeah. is just red is set with more overdrive. and again this is the red side of brad's <laughs> tone which has the uh, high, high gain, gain mod, mod, and we are comparing it to the Air Apparent, right. which is the Prince of Tone model in the Helix with the high gain mod. Closer. I think it is closer. It's even yeah. with higher gain, and I think that's kind of true with a lot of things. Like when you start adding yeah. more gain dynamics, typically to me, yeah, and like certain nuances aren't there. Yeah. I have zero idea. Play a little bit. Play a little bit. Let's try one more time. <laughs> Helix. I hear a little something, something. I hear a little something. It's a mid-range thing. So I got this right. Yeah. The, and you can't uh, it's so, you can't dial so out mids. Yeah. Well, this is also a great demonstration to show if you have like a pedal, a drive pedal you love, it will sound really good yeah. in the effects of well, the Helix. Also true. Also, by We're the way, it. you'll also hear how good these ristrettos sound. These are the Lambertones. So. Uh as of now, currently still prototype Ristretto P90 pickups. There as far also. as we know, this is only this is like the number two set that was created. The second set ever. And I have the third set. Is that right, Curtis? If you're in the comments, let us know. Let's go to the uh, stacking. Stacking them both. So just as a refresher, what we've got now is uh, both sides of Brad's Analog Man King of Tone on, 
and the uh, Tone Sovereign model in the Helix set to mimic Brad's pedal. Yes. All right, and this is going to be easier because I can just use one foot and you hit can. both buttons. Yes. Okay. So uh, again, we'll start with clean tone and then I'll start switching you back and forth. They both, one of them has a little more, a touch more warmth, but then the other one has this, it's a little smoother. So, like, yeah. they both sound good. I just. Give me one more switch. Wait, did you just go back? That's Helix. You're right. That's okay. Helix. Oh, I know, I know what you're hearing too. I mean, this it's is pretty good. This I'm gonna, is I'm my... gonna start calling you Cheppers if you're not careful. <laughs> I could hear a little bit. It's more about the feel too. Though. It was a brightness thing, and the other thing was we were we were hearing differences in like warmth, for lack of a better word, mm -hmm. and we were trying to compensate for that and match the pedal using like by taking the tone down on the Helix model and increasing the brightness. The presence. Which, or the presence, yeah. yeah. Which is going to give you like a different sort of character. Yeah. Which is really cool because you can, in a way, revoice the Helix model. Yeah. The a way you can't do on the King of Tone. But hopefully what you got out of that was it was really hard for yeah. Brad. Harder for me to tell the difference. Yeah. Uh, and you're, the, you're a guy who knows and loves this pedal. I do. Now I will say I've been using. We're gonna make this something of this sort of the patch available. Yeah, this patch is like a a test version of. Yeah. We're gonna call it the the match JMP. Now we'll, we'll make it a little more because like right patch. now we don't need the whole drive section that's down there. That's right. excessive. Yeah. Um, but I've been using a version of this patch. Yeah. Live a lot. Like I created it, and because I have the beta, I was like nervous to mm -hmm. use it live, but. Basically, what we were told was if you need to use presets, that it's a little more risky because okay. you may not. So this is this has been so you just stable made for one me. Preset. I made yeah. one preset. Like, and so yeah. if you're trying to bring in old presets you made, that's where it gets yeah. dicey. So how I like to use it is I'll have like if I have the yellow one and I'm gonna go to red, I can just step on both, and like yeah. it switches. And then if I need a boost, I would do that. So I had it set so I could do the exact same. Did thing. Did you do that with the the oh, air appearance? Yeah, that's so what you I did. The the Prince of Tone models to yeah, do that. Yeah, I did it. So I treated it just like I did, and I was like, so very satisfied. Yes. Like, I was not, I did most not satisfying. feel... Most satisfying. Most satisfying. Yes. <laughs> I did not feel like I was sacrificing anything. Like, at all. Yeah. And I feel like 2.8, they put some extra mojo in we there. We feel like just the amp models in general. Yes. Sound, I don't know new what they life. Did. Maybe it was like Secret they just sauce. sprinkled some magic dust, tone dust on it. Apparently. So one more thing we want to do is show um, how running two air appearance in the Helix and stacking them sounds like running both sides of the King of Tone on. As opposed to using the Tone Sovereign right. to give the same thing. So right. they're, it's the same idea. I hope idea. that makes sense. It's a little confusing. But it can be. Sense. Okay, so what we're going to do is Brad's going to play. I'm going to turn... Uh, I'm going to have to use both feet to hit three pet three <laughs> buttons. So what I'm going to do is switch between the King of Tone with both sides on and both of the air appearance. My feet are blocking the shot. Yes. Uh, but we'll subtitle what's happening. So go ahead and play, and then I'll, I'll start switching. <laughs> Oh, 
just smiling because I'm just like, you can't, there's no, it's so hard to tell. Oh man. They're so close. I'm hearing a little mid-range difference. I'm hearing a little bit too. Is this the king of tone? You're right. This is oh, okay. King of tone. All right. <laughs> so, um, what was interesting on this one is I heard more low end from the Helix models, which is while yeah. So that that's the point. Yeah. <laughs> like, there's no like real conclusion other yeah. than it sounds awesome. We we're and not trying very, to prove anything. Very very close. I guess really the point is is. Well done, Line 6. Thank you. It, even if, I think, feel like this was just for me. Like I feel like y'all did this just so I could have so a king Bradford of tone. Could have a king just of me. That's it. But anyways, well done. Well freaking done.